At the University of Illinois, biochemists study Urso, a compound that could be a game changer for the thousands of patients and their loved ones devastated by breast cancer each year. Is it fair to call it a breast cancer breakthrough? I think right now it has the potential to be a breakthrough. You can watch that go from this large tumor and, and then you're, you can't find anything after that. It gives us a lot of confidence that, that Ursa has had a really powerful uh, effect in those tumors. That's how you make Ursa. Yeah. Matthew Boudreau began his part of the Urso work back in 2017. Chemistry is the ultimate Lego game. Tweaking different properties of molecules, trying to make a compound that could have the best anti-cancer effect. Urso initially is extremely potent. Metastatic estrogen receptor positive breast cancer cells, one of the most common types of breast cancer, have a protective pathway that helps them grow. Urso weaponizes that and makes it toxic. The cancer cells are killed and the normal cells are left undamaged. Think of it like the body is a car and the cancer cells are the engine running near the red line. Urso steps on the gas, pushes the engine into the red, blows up the engine, but the car is okay. Urso could have implications for patients outside of these labs. Right now, the five-year survival rate for people with metastatic breast cancer is just 27%. Metastatic cancer is very difficult. You can't really cure it currently. These are breast tumors that metastasize to multiple different areas. But by um, nature... Two bone metastases at the top and at the bottom of the spine. Another lung metastasis as well as a liver metastasis. So, Scientists were skeptical at first. We're like, okay, we've done something wrong. Especially when the first scans in mice showed or so eliminated metastatic cancer in just seven days. We checked everything to make sure it was fine. And lo and behold, we honestly did get... 99% decline. More scans, four months post or so treatment. It's all gone. It's all, it's completely gone. Darion Daraki knows what this could mean. His mother was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2014. That was probably the hardest time period mentally to be able to deal with that. What that kind of did was it sparked this want to help. Mom is much better today, in remission and serving as inspiration, not just for Darion, but for his sister Adriana, now an undergrad researcher, also studying the future of Urso. I think we work well together. They, along with the other dozen or so researchers, are eager but cautious on how it will do in people. We've had many molecules that we've taken in the humans, uh, not me, but others, and, and it just doesn't work out. Of course, as a scientist, you'd have to wait to see how it works in humans, and we're hoping that uh, phase one clinical trials will start soon. However, everything that we have so far is suggestive that it should be a favorable result. But these are actually different cancers. Meantime, the scientists gauge Urso's effects on other cancer cells, like ovarian, endometrial cancer, and various types of breast cancers, and hope they eventually will be confident in using the word breakthrough. Lindsay Thies, Newsy, Champaign, Illinois.